So hi, today we're gonna try this uh, interesting maybe way of answering your question. So I'm gonna be riding and uh, talking about something, about tattoos or whatever. Let's see how it goes. I don't know if you can hear me, but I hope yes. So the most common question what I usually get, I think a lot of artists get, is, uh, well, how to get better and stuff like that. I'm gonna explain you everything with this fallen tree. So, you just started tattooing and everything seems hard, the same like if you start riding and uh, going through this log. It is a very small log, but anyway, like a small tattoo, you know? Looks like super, super crazy. How to do this? No one knows. So... First you come to this log, then to the tattoo and just try it. Just try it very, very simple, you know? Just try to ride over it. Oh, and somehow you've done your first tattoo, you know? But then... You start to make more, more and more and more to do, and then you're coming to this log, and it's not so scary anymore. You just ride over it. But then, after a few years, you just jump over it. All the same like with tattoos. First it's scary, then you get used to it. And then you just do it automatically. And then the speed starts to come. And new logs. New tattoos. Something like this. Just practice. All the time. All the time practice. More and more. Until you masterize it. Of course there can be small fails and stuff like that, but fuck it, don't think about it. Just do your stuff, do what you like, and enjoy. Life is fucking way too short to stress about bullshit. Oh, big one. Let's try. So now, as well imagine it's like your first black and gray or first color tattoo. And you have no fucking idea, looks crazy, looks hard, looks difficult. But fuck. You already done your first small tattoo, so why not try this one as well? As well, just coming to this log, just don't know what to do, how to start. Looks similar like a small one, but completely different. You just cannot ride over it. So you need to try new techniques or something like that. And you start. You don't know what to do, start to stress. Fuck stress, don't stress, just go. Ah, see? You stressed. I stressed as well. Just go over it. Fuck it. And then make more. Ride over it. And then you make enough for the practice. Just jump over it, fuck this shit. Like a small warm-up. Slow. Tattooing, you need to have a 
warm up as well. Not the physical one. And just get to your routine. You know? No small tattoo. The more routine you get, the better it is actually. Because our work is super monotone, you know? Do the same shit again and again. It's always better. Get your routine done. practice more and more remember these slogs it was looking massive before like that and now it looks something like that and the tools are getting so much easier now you just jump over it and that's it don't even think about it let me take you Training tour. Let's just find a way out. It'll be soft training today. Because uh, I'm gonna be talking, I cannot concentrate so much. something more interesting then start don't wait no point of waiting experiment all the time because if you you stand in the same place then you don't progress progress always there's no need to be like everyone else forget one more thing when you're working or doing something doesn't matter what if you're getting tired just take a small break just relax take five ten minutes break to relax your eyes your body and then just get back to work it will be much more better for you And then 
you got your basics then you just need to choose the way where you wanna go it can be one style or another style you cannot go both ways if you want to be a professional you really need to choose one so what you wanna choose I was hoping for the easy ride today it's there but we're gonna go for more difficult one it's there Looks easy now, but let's see how easy it is. Answering on a question from Instagram. Why am I so savage? Man, I don't even know what, what does it mean. I googled it and it like tells that this means that you are kind of cool and crazy in the same way, in a good way. I don't know, I was just always like this. Look at this wall. This is crazy. Amazing nature. So, I honestly don't know why I am savage or am I even savage. It doesn't matter, but thanks for asking. Ooh. Check the river. Now imagine you are doing something and you feel like you are completely stuck and you don't even see the way out. There is blocked, there is a mountain there. There is a fucking fence you cannot enter. So what you do? Just try, try something to escape the situation. Try to use all your skills, what you have already, and just uh, go. We're gonna go that way. <laughs> Like 
and when you think you escaped there is again two ways how to do this or for example you are tired you have a full day session you understand that you don't really want to finish this tattoo in one go just uh, take extra time move customer to another day if you really want this tattoo done go full hardcore on it you know and just finish it no matter how tired you are or it's painful and your eyes are back just do it it's up to you to decide you always need to decide what to do not the customer or anyone else it's your life so today we decided to finish this tattoo and go all in with that well it will be hard it will be difficult but it will give a lot of joy <laughs> to go and finish this tattoo today yeah I'm thinking okay it shouldn't be so bad are you sure about that because sometimes it's better just take a break but fuck no we are not taking breaks we are going all in And then something like this comes and this is a uh, maybe a little bit too hard for you or lack of knowledge but you are here already so you need to act and there is two ways you can simplify your tattoo by going around or you can continue maybe it will be a struggle Maybe it won't, but let's see. And it can be a struggle. You just can get stuck. But in every situation, you can unstuck yourself. And that's it. In places like this, there is no going around, there is only obstacles in front of you, so just fight for it. Don't stress and just go all in, fuck it. Don't be scared of experiencing new things in your work. Sometimes you're gonna come to a point like should I do it or should I not do it? I don't know guys what to tell you but look fucking crazy. I've never been here actually. I never dropped into this hill yet. And it looks extremely terrifying for me this is a monster I think you will not understand the angle but it's a vertical drop and as you can see I'm only 46 hours in enduro riding so how stupid is this idea to go down? very stupid but can I do it? I don't know we're gonna know together Fuck, my bike is almost vertical already! 
Uh -huh. See where is my foot and where is my bar? And now it's better to get off the bike. And so we have a problem. My bike is vertical as hell. But I knew I need to get down. Same like you are starting something super difficult and you just don't have a way back because it's physically impossible now to go back on this vertical motherfucker. Can you fail when you are doing something crazy? Of course you can. But as well, you can win. Shit. I don't really know how I'm gonna go there. But somehow. Ooh. One day I'm gonna just drop in with no stress on the legs. But for now, we are all beginners. My benzene is dripping down, so it's better to take it slow. It's not about the speed, it's about the result. Oh, oh perfect. Now I really stuck. Whew. How to get out of this kind of situation when you're alone? I don't know. But we're gonna figure it out. Shit, it's stuck. It's stuck well. Maybe. We'll try like this. Oh, and it helped. So, just try and search for a solution in every situation. bar looks a bit different, but it's okay. So guys, always remember, experiment, experiment as much as you can, and uh, have fun. I don't know if the camera will be visible where I was going down. No, it's not. But this, the angle is like this. Crazy, you know? But I've done it. So let's move on. Let's continue. Oh. Let's continue. Looks crazy, no? But it may look crazy only when we start. Oh, let's go down the river. Because uh, I don't really see the way out. So new lesson don't get scared of being wet or discriminated on online whatever there is a lot of critics motherfucking shit who will try to put you down just don't think about it and go if you don't start with the first try try with another one Oh 
and it doesn't matter how deep is the water just go because many people before you went the same direction and they succeeded so why not to try to do the same thing oh this is a crazy obstacle super wet in the river a log what is this? I don't know what is this. It doesn't matter. Because we need to get over the log. And again. If we got stuck, we're just gonna pull ourselves out of here somehow no matter how hard it is but we're gonna do it we may get wet same like this bullshit online whatever people know better but fuck it we are doing our thing and we go forward And we're over the lock. Imagine. And then we're gonna have more logs, but it will not stop us anyway, no? Deeper waters. Yes, our shoes may be wet, and we can be wet. But can be. Should we go this way, or should we continue? I don't know, let's just continue. What is this? Oh, I really think we should go there because I don't really, really see any trails there. So, it's always okay to go back. Here is our entrance for today. Yep, we need to go there for sure. Next lesson, even if we cannot get here, we always can find a way around somehow. Because I see there are a roots of trees, but no time to give up, we need to move forward anyway. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
same what I stop what I said about if you're tired just take a break continue next time if you really understand that there is no chance to continue now just relax Again, we always have options or we go through the big one and struggle or we can take a short one and don't struggle so much. It's always up to you to decide. I cannot afford myself to go easy way, that's why we're gonna go hard way. This tree is massive and I have never went over trees like that before so let's see is it even possible for me or well, I'll need to go to an easy way Opa! The front wheel is there, it means we have no way back Difficult, but it actually wasn't good for us. Where to go next? I don't really see a trail. to a tree full of some kind of insects yeah you can see it here is this? I hope it's not a tick because I don't want to be bitten by a tick today let's see where this one is going Oh, a trail. Let's 
see the goat. Yes, we really need to go here. Just to go away, find a way out. Because for sure we don't need to go there. There is a falling ground. It is a very thick. I think it will be there. what I'm telling about don't be scared about experimenting new stuff see we found the trail <coughs> oh it will be a difficult one will we make it oh, this we're gonna try Stupid, but it's okay. Because I'm talking to you guys. But usually, I'm never riding alone because there could be some crazy situations like. where you cannot get out by yourself and then you just need help and this is where the two studios are coming handy oh by the way nice, nice stuff not for today a lot of people are asking me the same question about when I'm going to guess what or visit the uh, United States guys I honestly don't know because well it's super difficult for me to get there uh, legally and I don't really want to go illegal to uh, America <laughs> Oh, by the way, oh shit, you don't even see the drop. It's a wall. I think it's the same wall what I was showing you 
when it just went down to the canyon. Imagine, there is like 30 meter drop, actual wall, and we're on the edge of it. <laughs> Do you see a river down? Uh, is there? Or maybe from here? There, there is a river. So it's a wall. It's a vertical drop, and for sure we don't want to go there. about vertical walls like this in tattooing guys always be careful the fuck are you what the fuck this is thick okay i need to get out of the forest and check all my body for these motherfuckers so always be careful don't try to do something what you cannot do because reputation is getting built by years and years and years of work and it can be destroyed super super easy and fast unfortunately can we do something about it yeah just be careful and don't go on the walls For the first video it's just like inspirational whatever <laughs> the next ones we're gonna start having more questions and more and it will be more interesting for you and me <laughs> different places to ride and answer to your questions. A beautiful camping place in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by hills which are super difficult to climb let's have a break, I'm gonna check myself on the ticks and we continue I'm riding with the Mr. Snail today what's up? one more thing, maybe think about it, about this little snail when you're getting bigger why not to help others you know? If you keep everything to yourself and you are an ignorant piece of shit, be it, but trust me, at some point this little snail will become a big artist and it can help you later. <laughs> drop in, you go down 
here. Imagine this is your first year of tattooing and all what you did before was just a practice to get up this massive hill and there are multiple ways how to do it but the start is the same for everyone Let's try <laughs> I'm talking about there are multiple ways how to get up we could go that way we could go that way this way this way this way this way but we are stuck so we need to take a little bit more easy way it maybe looks easy but it will be actually much more difficult because when you are stuck there is no one to help you only you can help yourself and how to do this? I don't know but we're gonna find a way somehow Because what? Ah, oh, motherfucker. It's everywhere. Because what? Correct. We are not the pussies. Fuck. Oh. 110 kilograms. Don't you dare to fall inside again. Uh -huh. Now we're out. Now we need to decide where to go. So the easiest one looks this one but is it one more trail there going this way is impossible now I think maybe yes we will see let's uh, get on the flat ground first what the fuck huh Relaxing. What is going on? Why we are not moving? Why we stuck in the forest? one is completely destroyed I don't know if you can see but it is super deep same like there so we'll just get stuck there let's find another one This one looks okay. I 
unfortunately all these hills doesn't look so steep like they actually are too bad but it's okay Guess what happened? We went straight to this motherfucker. Now we need to get there. Okay, let's go. See, only front brakes cannot hold the bike because it's steep. And now we have a log in front of us, like some kind of challenge of having some dickhead talking shit about us. But somehow we need to get through it. If with not if not with the first try we will try again. those people for trying to slow us down and again multiple ways how to get up or we go like everyone else and maybe struggle or we choose our own way and maybe struggle as well. <sighs> Will be kind of hard to go our own way, but we will try, yeah. Super hard, but we will do it somehow. Maybe like this. Uh huh. And now, whew, I'm dying really. And now when we decided to go our own way, I think we are making the rules how to do it. get ready to get stuck and look the way where everyone goes was not so easy but as well there is a shortcut but we don't need shortcuts we go full maximum <laughs> See? Shit happens. Let's 
somehow. <laughs> Let's take a small break. Break was not long, but if we cannot get there our own way, sometimes it's better to go where everyone else is going. Because it can save your time. Look at this drop. This is crazy. But one day I'm gonna be riding here as well. up today I was talking more about discipline basically you need just to practice more more you practice more you're getting better it's just a thing so practice and if you like this kind of thing videos whatever then uh, press like button subscribe whatever and for the next one uh, just drop in comments what you want to know in the next uh, ride I guess it will be in a uh, few days so you have time write in comments what you want to know and I'm gonna be riding and answering okay thank you for watching and see you in the next video ciao